I can hear Kaiba screaming from here. Hey everyone, Templar74 here with another Yu-Gi-Oh! video, and today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video is going to be my review of the latest episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush, episode 42. And I gotta be honest with you, this episode, despite having one of my favorite monsters in it of all time, and having a pretty interesting concept, really was more of an eh episode in other respects and i don't know if that makes much sense or not but i'll try to explain as we go on so uh at risk of further rambling let's move on to the actual episode so reader's digest version of the episode is we see yuhi and yuamu and they're basically having an argument of how many times a week they have to go through with whatever it is they're doing they got their decks on the table and asuka's driving it it stinks. It sucks. Uh, she is very rough. Uh, she's throwing the entire city around just trying to dodge a meteor. But uh, this ultimately ends up playing into the plot of the episode because when Udius Ud comes in and announces to his friends that they've arrived in his home star cluster, they grab their rush dual decks, or so they think, and end off taking off. Um, as they're exploring in this labyrinth underground type area, that's the best way I can explain it, Yuhi ends up almost getting crushed to death by a falling boulder, but he's saved by Shubaha, a courier from the star cluster that Udius is from, and he's basically a courier because he's super fast, and he also eats rocks. I know, shocking. And basically, he ends up challenging Yuhi to a rush duel, whereas Yuhi wins, Shubaha will tell him what they want, and if Shubaha wins, they leave this planet forever, never come back. And so the rush duel begins, and Shubaha draws his first opening hand, and so does Yuhi, but Yuhi discovers something. He doesn't have his deck, he has Yuamu's dragon deck, uh, her high-tech dragon deck. And don't get me wrong, I love Yuamu's dragon deck. It's really awesome, and Yuamu is my favorite character. But seeing Yuhi use her deck kind of brings it down a little notch. It's an interesting concept, don't get me wrong. And in fact, you guys can fact check me, but I don't remember another time where... Well, actually, I take that back. I can remember one in GX where somebody else has used another character's deck and dueled with. And like I said, GX is the only example that came to my mind as soon as I said I couldn't think of one. And that was when the imposter took Yugi's deck and played it. It doesn't happen very often, but in this case, it happened. And we end up seeing... Buster Blader come out. This is Shubaha's ace in the hole, and it gains 500 attack for every dragon on the field and in the graveyard. This was the one card that I am convinced was created by Konami just to piss Kaiba off in the anime. And I still stand by that to this day. That is the only purpose of this monster. And we see this monster's attack just go through the roof with Yuamu's deck, you know, being entirely dragon-based. And by the end of the day, the episode wraps up with this duel. And overall, like I said, it was an interesting concept. We don't see it very often. Um, and we did get a rush duel in it, which is a given. The slice of life, okay. Uh, we still don't know who this client is that Shubaha got his Rush Duel deck from with Buster Blader in it. That's still a little bit of a mystery. But all of that being said, by the end of the day, the episode was still pretty entertaining. Although, in my opinion, it wasn't as entertaining as it possibly could be. It's not a great Tier 1 episode, but it's not a tier trash zero episode either. It it's it's in the up it's in the higher middle ground if that makes any sense. Overall, I give the episode a seven out of ten. It was really good. Um, like I said, Buster Blader seeing it jack up to an insane attack power. I really like this effect of Buster Blader 
Uh, you know, it just goes to show how strong this monster can get. And when you're going up against somebody with dueling with dragons, this is the card you want in your deck. And like I said, I can hear Kaiba screaming from here about it. But overall, everybody, those were just my thoughts. And as always, I want to hear yours. So in the comment section down below, let me know what your guys' thoughts were about this week's episode. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was just eh there? What are your thoughts? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Because as always, I enjoy hearing from you. All right, everyone. As always, Templar74 signing off. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.